common carp are a problem in lakes because we know that a lot of the lakes in central and especially in southern Minnesota are dominated by the carp. They're big, powerful fish and they have this behavior of digging in the bottom while they're looking for food. And by doing so, they make the lakes more muddy, they release nutrients from the bottom that make the lakes more green, there's more algae growing in those lakes and they also uproot aquatic plants that grow in the lakes. And that's bad because plants are really important for the waterfowl and for native fish. We are doing an experiment here. This is a whole lake experiment. And the objective is to see if we can selectively attract carp using food, but not attract any of the native fish. So we've tagged over a thousand fish in the lake, about 400 carp and about 600 native fish. We have electronic antennas on the bottom of the lake in two places. And then in one of those spots, we're placing food, cracked corn. So we put the food down, we turn on the antenna, and then we just watch what happens. And uh, we're collecting a lot of data on who is visiting the baited site, whether it's just carp or maybe also native fish, at what time of the day and night, because it's rolling 24 hours. And also we're trying to figure out how carp learn that there's a food in the lake and how specifically they aggregate. A fish is not a fish, you know, there aren't average fish. Some of them are smart, some of them are not so smart. Some of them are bold and some of them are, are shy. So to me, the most interesting thing is understand the social network of the carp. How is it that they learn? If we can train the carp, that creates many new management options. And the simplest one would be to develop a net that catches those fish. And if the native fish don't aggregate at the same time, then you can replace the bait with one that is identical, but contains a toxin. The bottom line is that we're trying to figure out a method that can be used to remove large numbers of carp from lakes and selectively without impacting native fish.